Okay, today we're going to be looking at the muscles that move the shoulder and the arm. Starting out on the back with the, the large trapezius muscle, seen here. Then on the other side of the model, the trapezius muscle has been taken away and the muscles of the shoulder and the rotator cuff. Spine of the scapula above the spine is the supraspinatus. Below it, infraspinatus. Below that, teres major. The deltoid muscle is right here. Now I'm going to show that going down to the actual arm model, so you can see this would be the same thing. Taking off the deltoid muscle, okay, and again showing those, the spine of the scapula above, posteriorly, superior, supraspinatus, infraspinatus, and teres major. These are also called the rotator cuff muscles. Now anteriorly, on the underside of the scapula is the subscapularis. So that makes up the muscles of the shoulder. Moving down to the upper arm, we have the biceps brachii. So this is anterior biceps brachii. Just deep to that muscle, underneath the biceps is the brachialis. And just medial to that, coming off the coracoid process, of the scapula is the coracobrachialis. So those are three anterior muscles in the arm, upper arm. It's biceps, brachialis, coracobrachialis. There's one muscle posteriorly in the arm and that's the triceps. All this is the triceps. There's three heads of the triceps, but this muscle is entirely the triceps. Okay.